Fox is six. Six is news. This is TV6 News with Vince Gibbons and Nancy Laffey. Good evening, everyone. From the station that's pulling for Milwaukee, this is TV6 News at 10 with Vince Gibbons, Mike Miller, Vince Condella, Jim Paschke, and the entire TV6 News team. Hello. Now from the News Center, this is TV6 News at 5 with Vince Gibbons, Mike Miller, Vince Condella, Tom Pippins, and featuring Tom Hooper, Joanne Williams, and the entire TV6 News team. Well, it took dozens of doctors, but a... From TV6, this is the 5 o'clock news with Mike Miller, Nancy Chandler, Vince Condella, Tom Pippins, and featuring Tom Hooper, Joanne Williams, and the entire TV6 News team. Wisconsin is jumping on the bandwagon... Now, from the News Center, this is TV6 News at 10 with Vince Gibbons, Mike Miller, Vince Condella, Jim Paschke, and the entire TV6 News team. Hello. This is TV6 News at Noon with John Drilling, Joanne Williams, Jack Boston, Andy Lascano, and the entire TV6 News team. Airman. From WITI, TV6 in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 News at 6. From WITI, TV6 in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 News at 10. It's been a tradition since the 50s, but tonight is the last Friday cruising will be allowed on Highway 100. West Dallas and Greenfield have passed laws aimed at stopping it in its tracks. Good evening. I'm Joyce Garbasiak. I'm Vince Gibbons. A friend you can count on in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 News at 4.30. friend you can count on in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 News at 5. Good evening, I'm Joyce Garbasiak. Vince Gibbons and Melody Wilson have the day off. A friend you can count on in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 News at 10. Tonight, weeks of testimony are over. Now, the fate of these two fired police officers lies in the hands of five fire and police commissioners. A friend you can count on in Milwaukee. This is the TV6 Saturday Report. After eight weeks of demonstrations, pro-life activists turn up the heat. Live from Milwaukee, Election 92, the Wisconsin vote. Hi. Hello. Good to see you again. Hi. Six is news. A friend you can count on in Milwaukee. This is 6 Is News at noon. More than 24 hours after a train jumped the tracks in Wyoiga. Well, you saw it here on 6 Is News, everybody. And these fans in Green Bay will see football again next week as the Packers have defeated the San Francisco 49ers 35 to 14 to advance to the NFC Championship game. You're watching Fox 6 Milwaukee. Tonight on Fox 6 Primetime News. You've seen the devastation from flooding in Fargo. You've seen what's happened in Grand Forks. 
Tonight, Fox 6 News takes you to a forgotten city where the water's just as high. It's nothing more than a skeleton now, but soon this pile of lumber will be sailing the open seas. Tonight, a tale of a ship in the making right here in Milwaukee. Move over, Brooklyn. Get out of the way, Golden Gate. The biggest bridge in town is no longer in the United States. This is Fox 6 Primetime for Sunday, April 20. You're watching the news team judge the best. This is Milwaukee's News Center. You're watching the Fox 6 News at 5. Law enforcement agency. You're watching the news team judge the best. This is Milwaukee's News Center. You're watching the Fox 6 News at 9. Topping our news this Friday night at 9, severe weather is now moving across. This is Fox 6 News, the news operation the Associated Press judged the best in Milwaukee. You're waking up to the station with the most local news, traffic, and weather first in the morning. You're waking up to Fox 6 Wake Up News. You're waking up to Mark Cannon, Kim Murphy, Lisa Chan, Gus Gnorski, and meteorologist Eric Brait, and the Fox 6 Wake Up News. Good morning and welcome back to the Fox 6 Wake Up News. You're watching Fox 6 Wake Up News with Mark Kincannon, Kim Murphy, Gus Gnorski, Lisa Chan, and meteorologist Eric Brait. Good morning and welcome back to the Fox 6 Wake Up News. This is Milwaukee's News Center, the station with the most local news. WITI, Fox 6, Milwaukee. The Outlaws are Harley Riders with a past. This is Milwaukee's News Center, the station with the most local news. WITI, Fox 6, Milwaukee. You're watching the Fox 6 News at 9 with Ted Perry, Joyce Garbasiak, meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tom Pippen Sports. I want to very quickly tell you about some breaking news from Milwaukee's South Side. Just you watch the best. Ted Perry, Katrina Cravey, meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tom Pippen Sports. Fox 6 News at 9. Just you watch the best. Well, we're 50 and proud of it this year, and once a month we're bringing you back in time to reminisce. This is Milwaukee's News Center, WITI Fox 6, the most powerful name in local news. We begin tonight with breaking news out of West Allis. A person has been struck by a train. We have continuing breaking news coverage right now. There is a 12-inch gas line, a natural gas line, that has burst on Port Washington Road. You're watching Fox 6 News at 11 with Joanne Williams, Tammy Hughes, and meteorologist Rob Haswell. Fox 6, the most powerful name in local news. They're still looking for answers for the shooting rampage at Northern Illinois University. You're watching Fox 6 News at 5 with Ted Perry, Beverly Taylor, Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tim Van Boren Sports. Fox 6, the most powerful name in local news. It's now 5.30. It's time for news and weather together. Investigators still aren't sure what caused the church explosion in Oconomowoc yesterday. Good morning, everyone. Continuing coverage now of the shooting deaths at Northern Illinois University. From the Fox 6 newsroom, this is breaking news. Ted Perry in the Fox 6 studios. This is Ryan McHugh, Cudahy's mayor. Let's get right to him with the latest on the plant fire there. Good morning and welcome to Fox 6 Wake Up News with news from around the world and around your neighborhood. Plus your weather first. A Milwaukee Middle School put on lockdown after a big fight breaks out. What's next for all the kids who were arrested? 
Plus, need a new phone? The Cyber Guy showing you the sell sweet deals available in 2010. From the lakeshore to your neighborhood and all around the world, this is Fox 6 News, the most powerful name in local news. Good evening. We begin tonight with another bout of snow headed our way. Live from our Milwaukee studios with stories that matter to you. This is Fox 6 Wake Up News. City of Brookfield Police, man with a gun call, Hazana Hair Salon. All aboard! Katrina Cravey, joined by my co-hosts who like to dance, Rob Haswell, Cassandra McShepard, and Nicole Coughlin. Live from our Milwaukee studios with stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News. Live from our Milwaukee studios with stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News. No. Stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News. Chaos at the State Fair. It starts with people fighting inside the fairgrounds. Live from our Milwaukee studios with stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News. A big win for a... Live from our Milwaukee studios with stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News. It is snowing and it sucks here. Welcome to the big dig. Just when I was thinking spring. Neighbors versus nature. Thank you very much. The big snow. No match for big hearts. We have to help each other. But lucky for us, there was a good Samaritan out there. And tonight. Check my mom this thing. Fox 6 is scaling new heights to bring it to you. Good evening. We are charging up the mountain tonight. You're watching Fox 6 News at 9 with Brad Hicks and State, Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tom Pippen Sports, because your news team matters. Good morning. You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 Wake Up News starts now. Yeah, he did. Now at 438 wins down, only two more to go. We've got complete coverage of yesterday's game as the Packers come out on top in Texas. Also this morning, taking a live look outside as you wake up this morning, we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for most of southeastern Wisconsin. When we start seeing that precipitation, what you need to know before you head out the door coming up. You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 4 starts right now. You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 5 starts right now. We are going to begin tonight with a heart. You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 6 starts right now. And we begin tonight at 6 with breaking news. You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 9 starts right now. We begin tonight at 9 with breaking news from McKinley Marina. Fox 6 News at 9 continues with Brad Hicks and State, Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tom Pippen Sports. Fox 6 News, because you matter. We got our hands on some new documents that detail a long list of the stuff stolen from some UWM dorms over the weekend. Fox 6 News at 9 continues with Brad Hicks. Mary Stoker Smith, Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella, and Tom Pippen Sports. Fox 6 News, because you matter. In about two months. You're watching Fox 6 News at 9 with Brad Hicks, Stephanie Grady, Chief Meteorologist Vince Condella, 
and Tom Pippen Sports. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Well, a uh, different kind of precipitation around Fox 6 today. Yeah, not rain, rather tears. After 34 years, tonight is Vince Candela's final forecast. 10 p.m. Parents, do you know where your children are? You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 10 starts right now. Our big story tonight. You're watching WITI Milwaukee. When it matters to you, it matters to us. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Fox 6 News at 11 starts right now. The recount will go on. Good morning. This is the place for the stories that matter to you, because you matter. Fox 6 Wake Up News starts right now. Freight train coming through. It was so fast, so hard, so strong. We've seen stuff flying through the air, uh, uh, signs, um, parts of roofs, and trailers. Now at 430, at least two people are dead as more than a dozen tornadoes rip across the Midwest. The latest in the severe storms as residents began assessing the damage. Also this morning here in Wisconsin, we are off to a wet start to our Wednesday. Roads going to be slick as the rain is expected to turn to snow later on this morning. Chief Meteorologist Rob Haswell tracking how much we can expect to see and when things will start to clear up. This is the place for the stories that matter to you because you matter. Fox 6 News at 9 starts right now. Well, the wild weather ride has begun for all of us. Today, it was the heavy rain and hail out there and higher temps. Tomorrow, well, it's going to be snow. Many of us under a dense fog advisory right now, in fact. Fox 6 News at 9 continues with Stephanie Grady, Ben Handelman, meteorologist Tom Walks, and Tim Van Voren Sports. Fox 6 News, because you matter. Prosecutors say a Milwaukee man was taking videos of other men in the... This is the place for the stories that matter to you because you matter. Fox 6 News at 10 starts right now. Now at 10, he was killed by a hit-and-run driver just doing his job protecting others on Milwaukee's roads. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 Wake Up News. Now at six, home from the hospital, but his heartbreak has yet to heal. The survivor of a fatal hit and run crash recounts the moments the car came barreling down the street. And after a crime spree unfolds in a matter of minutes, the Milwaukee teenager that's now facing charges. Good morning. Thanks for starting your Friday with Wake Up. Fox 6 Wake Up News, the number one morning show in Milwaukee, continues now. It was back my stomach was hurting. With stories that matter to you. you. This is Fox 6 News at 11. Our big story at 11, winter in Wisconsin is back. Stories that matter to you. This is Fox 6 News at 4. Now at 4, it's not exactly how most of us imagined Halloween would look, but hey, let's embrace the taste of winter, shall we? News with Stephanie Grady and Ben Handelman. Now at 4.30, welcome to Wisconsin. Halloween dressed as Christmas. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 5. Now at 5, a cross-country crime spree comes to a violent end in Milwaukee. The man who was wanted in several states. It's Ted Perry and Harry Stoker-Smith. Tens of thousands of people under evacuation orders across California as new wildfires pop up daily. Fox 6 News continues now with Ted Perry, Mary Stoker-Smith, and Tom Walks. Palermo's Pizza celebrating the launch of three new styles of frozen pizza today. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 6. Now at 6. Fox 6 News continues with Stephanie Grady and Ben Handelman. President Trump says he should be able to face his accuser. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 9. Who just shot, bro? Now at 9, a protest turns violent. A suspended police officer targeted in the chaos, all caught on camera. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 10. 
It was like a shootout type stuff. It was like pop, 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 pop. A Kenosha police officer shot on the job recovering tonight while the suspect is on the loose. But we begin with breaking news. Two teens and a man rushed to the hospital after being pulled out of Lake Michigan on Milwaukee's lakefront. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 Wake Up News. Now at 7, cracking down on COVID-19. The new rules in effect today for restaurants and bars in Milwaukee. And breaking news this morning, a terrorism investigation underway in France. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 11. The Wisconsin Republican Party chairman says hackers stole $2.3 million from an account dedicated to President Trump's re-election. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 4. Our big story today at 4, a young life taken. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 5. With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 6. We cannot test our way out of With stories that matter to you, this is Fox 6 News at 9. We're going to do everything we can both on election day and subsequent to election day um, to make sure that, that we have a peaceful city. Now at 9, an election year like no other. The security preparations ahead of election day as law enforcement prepares for the worst but hopes for the best. In just six short days, millions of Americans will head to the polls. And tonight, law enforcement says your vote will be protected.